Hello, and welcome to our Market Alert video for today, which is May 5th, 2023, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I want to wish all you moms a very, very happy Mother's Day. I hope that uh, that special day is special for you. Uh, my mother passed in 2011, and uh, I uh, miss her dearly. She is the reason I am who I am. I learned so much from her. I am eternally grateful for the way that she raised me and the lessons that she taught me. And so all you moms, without you, we would be nowhere. So we love you. We thank you. And I hope that uh, your day is very, very special. Uh, I also want to tell you that uh, our corporate charity, as you may know, is the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, we want to eradicate this terrible, horrible disease. Uh, we want to help that uh, as soon as possible. And uh, so the uh, Alzheimer's Association, we've helped them to raise uh, money. And uh, this year we hosted, we were the uh, chair, uh, chair people, chairpersons of the uh, uh, gala. And we set a record, as I understand it, we raised $550,000. And so I want to uh, thank all of you who uh, helped us with that, who donated. I know some of you did. Certainly all of our uh, team members and our family members and everybody involved, uh, you guys did a great job and we're so proud. Now, I did lay down a goal. I said that next year, yes, 550000 is great, but next year, $1 million. $1 million. <laughs> so let's talk about what happened. Well, we got uh, the, uh, and by the way, I didn't tell you who I am. I am uh, Ken Morayf, and I'm founder and CEO of Retirement Planners of America. And our website is rpoa.com. And you can click below if you want to meet with one of our retirement planners. Um, Let's talk about the numbers that came in. Uh, we saw the jobs numbers this morning came in very, very good. So the economy continues to be resilient and strong, despite the Fed raising interest rates like they have been. And uh, the good news is that inflation has been coming down, but the economy continues to be OK, if not good. And uh, that leads towards the notion that we're going to have what they've been calling a soft landing um, and that we are going to avoid a big, bad recession. And that uh, you know everything's going to be hunky dory and wonderful and great. Well, our view of things is that because we work with people who are over fifty, who are retired, retiring soon, um, we prefer to plan for the worst and hope for the best, as opposed to planning that the best is going to happen and the worst doesn't. And uh, so, therefore, uh, our view is that yes, we do think that uh, inflation will come down. We think it'll be under 4% in July. We think the market will receive that well. We also think that when this year is over, that we'll be celebrating that we did very well with our investments. However, I wanna talk with you about what could go wrong, okay? Because again, we need to plan for the worst and hope the best happens. Um, so what could go wrong? Well, the big, big thing, of course, is the commercial real estate, uh, uh, issue, challenge that uh, the economy is facing. And uh, we've been talking about this for several weeks now, and it's now starting to gather some headlines and getting some news. And that is that many of the big commercial real estate deals were priced uh, for profitability with interest rates around 2% or thereabouts. Well, now in commercial real estate, it's over 8%. So these deals that are now coming up and they're for refinancing, um, may not be profitable anymore, in which case these uh, companies could go bankrupt, those deals could stop, and uh, therefore they would not make their bank payments. And all those banks that are holding all those commercial real estate loans could get hit badly. And that is uh, why we've seen in the regional bank sector, the regional banks just getting killed, uh, their stock prices. And the reason is, is because people are concerned that a lot of these companies may not make it, and it's hundreds of billions, and some people are saying we have 2008 all over again. We're going to have another banking crisis. So that's something that could go wrong. The other thing that could go wrong is that uh, the Federal Reserve overshoots, okay? Because when they raise interest rates, it takes, or, or lowers, it takes about six months for it to filter through the economy. They just raise interest rates another quarter of a percent. So we have about 2% or about half of all the raises that they've made that, that have not filtered through the economy yet. We haven't seen what that's going to do yet because it's less than six months on that stuff. 
And so maybe they broke something. Maybe they're, you know, not just the regional banks are experiencing these problems, but maybe somebody else in the, in the economy is suddenly going to, we're going to find out is, is at risk. Maybe there's something else that they broke that we haven't taken into account yet that could cause everything to fall apart. And then the other thing, of course, is we have our friends in Congress, the, the Democrats, the Republicans. Uh, yeah, those guys, um, they have the debt ceiling thing coming, right? And does this year feel different to you than previous years? I mean, it seems to me the acrimony between the parties is a lot. It seems like there's some hate there. It's not even like we want to cooperate. We want to beat you. And unfortunately, that's not the way government should work. It should be compromised and get things done. But if they decide to dig their heels in and this debt ceiling thing turns into a problem, you know, Janet Yellen, our uh, Secretary of Treasury, said that it could cause a very bad economic circumstance. And yeah, I mean, if we don't, if we don't figure out how to raise the debt ceiling, if they don't come to terms, Social Security payments could stop, uh, you know, welfare, Medicare, we could have a significant problem in the country and that could have detrimental effect on our investment. So you want you want something to worry about, there you have them. So what do, what do we do about it? Well, we believe that growth is important, but protection of principle is even more important. And so therefore, we believe you should have a strategy to protect yourself. You should have, you, you should be thinking about when do I sell? When do I protect myself more so than you think about, you know, how much money can I make? Now, obviously growth is important, but if you're over 50, if you're thinking about retirement or you're already there, then we think you should be thinking about protecting what you've got. That may be a higher priority than worrying about how much you could make. And so that's what we do. That's our philosophy. That's our entire raison d'être, as the French say, our reason for being. So if our philosophy and our view aligns with yours, if you are worried about this, if you lost money last year and you think, oh my gosh, what if it happens again, then Click on meet with an advisor. Uh, you see that below. Uh, visit with one of our retirement planners. We'd love to sit down with you, build a plan with you, give you a second opinion. If we can help you, great. And if not, that's fine too. Okay. So either way, no charge, no obligation, and we will part friends. So thanks for watching this video. Share it with as many of your friends and family and business associates. We want to help as many people as we possibly can. We, we feel that it is our noble purpose. So thanks again, and we'll talk soon.